So in this video, I'm going to give you a glimpse of what everyday life is like for me and what's more everyday than food, right? I did a video a while back about typical lunches while working in Tokyo, um, but today I'm going to switch it up to dinner. I'm in my kitchen. It's a one bedroom apartment. I think this is kind of just like a typical kitchen that you find in Tokyo uh, for a one bedroom. I'll probably do a full on apartment tour in about a month or two. So if you're interested, then subscribe and stay tuned for that. So for dinner, my wife and I pretty much eat at home unless there is some special occasion or event or something like that. So if you don't know, my wife is Japanese and she usually cooks. So I just wanted to give a glimpse of what it's like for us. So my wife starts work and ends work earlier than me. So she gets home and she's the one that cooks. She also likes cooking just in general. It's a hobby of hers, lucky for me. So she'll cook the dinners and I will do the dishes after. So usually we go to the market on Sundays to pick up a lot of the groceries that we will need for the week. Luckily, we have three supermarkets within like five to seven minutes of us on foot. So really convenient. This one is like the happy medium when it comes to price and quality and variety. For some things like meat or fish, there's usually a supermarket run that has to be made during the week as well. But for the most part, we get as much as we can on the weekend. My wife is craving Hawaiian food today, so Kalua pork and lomi salmon are on the menu. If you don't know, Kalua pork is a pork that's usually cooked in an underground oven, and lomi salmon is like a salted salmon that's mixed with vegetables. We just got the salmon, so it's not prepared in advance like how it's supposed to, so it's kind of an express salting, if you will. And then the pork is cut up. She uses the rice cooker to make the pork and it actually does a pretty good job. And then she'll take it out and fry it at the end in a pan just to add a little bit of crisp to it. Next, throw in some garlic and make the cabbage. Lomi salmon usually has vegetables like onions, green onions, tomatoes, so those are cut up and then the salmon and then it's just pretty much mixing them up together. We wanted rice too, but since the rice cooker is in use, she made the rice in a pot and it came out nicely. Finally, it's frying up some wonton wraps to make chips. I first had it when my auntie in Hawaii made it and it's so good. Put the kula pork and lomi salmon on the chip and top it with a mix of shiracha and mayo. Highly recommend it. She'll make a few different kinds of curry each time, but tonight is Indian chicken curry. First, prep the chicken. It doesn't look very appetizing, but it gets better. She starts curries off with onions, so she cut up some onions and prepared some ginger and garlic. After getting that started, the onions go in. Add in some tomato sauce and then the mix of different powders for the curry go in. In goes the chicken and then some cream. And Indian chicken curry. Very good. The season's changing and one of the things we'll eat sometimes in the spring and summer are summer rolls. She boils some moyashi or bean sprouts to get them soft. And she also boils some shrimp. While that's going, she starts on a bok choy soup. She put in some garlic in there and also mix in an egg. Then she makes the wraps. and dip into a Thai chili sauce and that's it. It's good, refreshing, and I don't know, it just feels healthy. It's Wednesday, middle of the week, and shogayaki is on the menu. 
Shogayaki is Japanese and it's pork fried with ginger. First, she'll prepare the sauce, which has ingredients like ginger, brown sugar, shoyu or soy sauce, and mirin. Pork comes nicely sliced already at the market, which is great. So she marinates it for a little bit and then fries it up. She's also making a cabbage miso soup on the side. Once that's almost done, she'll add in some miso to finish it off. I really like this because it's quite tasty. Cabbage wraps today. It's a soup-like dish of ground beef wrapped in cabbage. She first prepares the ground beef, which is the filling. Salt, pepper, an egg, then some panko and onions go in before it's all mixed together. She divides up the portions and wraps each up into a cabbage roll. And then they're placed into a pot and simmered for a while. My wife also wanted to make macaroni cheese gratin, so she prepared that on the side as well. She sliced up some bacon, onions, and mushrooms, and fried them up, then put them in with the macaroni, put the cheese sauce on top, and then baked it in our little oven. A perfect meal. End of the week, Friday, and we're going a little more Japanese today. Making tamaki or sushi hand rolls are a fun thing we like to do every now and then. We buy different kinds of sashimi that we want to eat from the market and then just slice them up a little thinner. So the rice is really important for sushi and I'm not allowed to help with that, so she makes it. Today we have maguro or tuna, salmon, hamachi or yellowtail, and some shiso leaves, cucumbers, and spicy tuna. Definitely enjoy these temaki days because, well, it's sushi. It's Saturday, the weekend. We don't eat out a whole lot, so today, even though it's the weekend, we're eating in as well. We got some American steaks. We like those every now and then, and they're also cheaper than Japanese beef, even in Japan. She first started with the sides, some carrots. She likes to cut them up into these rounded circles, which are really cute. And then cream spinach. She also makes a little bit of sauce to put on the steak, which is really good. Throw in some mushrooms, open a bottle of wine, and it's a good Saturday night dinner. So that's it for me this week. Uh, hit that thumbs up button for my wife if you liked any of her cooking and you found this video interesting at all. Um, and then subscribe if you haven't already and are interested in my life, trying to live, work, and balance everything uh, between the US and Japan if you're interested in that kind of thing. Um, otherwise, thank you for watching again and I hope to see you in the next one.